This year, we have tried out many new concepts, including Mechanum Wheels. Mechanum Wheels are designed to make the robot move in any direction. They can drive like a normal tank drive, but by turning every wheel in an opposite direction, we can strafe left and right. And now, the frame is complete. We added these 3D printed wheel guards by Berserk Robotics and they work great while also looking amazing. There are models for the new Go Build a Mechanum wheels as well as the old ones. You can find a link to these in the description below. To launch objects, you need a force that is powerful enough to push at high speeds as well as a good angle. To launch the rings, we're using two 6,000 RPM flywheels pushing the rings against an opposing wall. On top of the shooting module, we have this here conveyor. The conveyor is made of poly tubing. We can use this to carry rings from the front of the shooting module to the back, or we can store it before it launches. We use these pivot modules to tip the robot down when we're intaking rings from the ground, and it tips back when we are shooting rings. To make these pivot modules, we need to manufacture some parts. Luckily for us, racket aircraft and air filters were willing to cut the parts we needed. We got several parts manufactured from them, including our side panels. The next step is getting the rings into the conveyor with an intake. Our idea is to use rollers mounted on a Lexan ram. We made a quick design in CAD and began building. Unfortunately, on our first test of this intake, we snapped the Lexan ramp by hitting a piece of tape while driving. We realized this would happen again if we fixed this, so we needed an entire new design. Within one day, we whipped up this. It uses two sets of wheels going opposite directions, one to pull rings in and one to push the rings up. Fortunately for us, it works out great. Within a day, our programmer whipped up a quick autonomous, and we began our first qualifier at Palo Verde. Our highest score was only 63 because we didn't have the drive practice, but we ended up winning the Innovator War. To prepare for our next qualifier, we redesigned the intake again, but this time using manufactured parts. It works much better than our one-day design. 
We also used some math to calculate the launching of the rings into the high goal, and now we shoot three rings during our autonomous. Here's how our next qualifier went. Now that turned out amazing. We ended up with first place with 738 total points, and to our surprise, we actually won the Inspire Award. We've made it to the Arizona State Championships, which will take place at the end of April. If you like this video, please subscribe for more content like this. We are planning on doing another one of these soon. Massive thanks to our sponsors on the screen right now. If you'd like to support us, there will be a link in the description where you can buy us equipment or parts, and we would really appreciate it if you helped us out. That's all for now. See you next time.